Hey everyone, so let me set the stage for you here. Diablo is a PC game that has been around for decades. For years, people have sat at their computers with their big monitors, their keyboard and mouse, their headset and microphone, and played this game with friends for hours on end in their dark basement with the only light coming from the glow off their monitor. Now Blizzard comes out with a huge announcement at BlizzCon for a new Diablo game. People are excited. They've been hoping for a Diablo 2 remaster, or an expansion for Diablo 3, or a new class for Diablo 3, or just a large amount of new content for Diablo 3. The list of things they were hoping for was a mile long, and what did they get? They get a cell phone game, not even by Blizzard, but the Chinese company NetEase. Blizzard gave all the Diablo assets to this company, and it looks like they just reskinned a pre existing game called Crusaders of Light. Take that large monitor you have and shrink it to the palm of your hand. Take that speaker system you have for your PC and turn it into a few pinholes that sound comes out of. Take that comfortable keyboard and mouse you use to control and swap it with some finger swipes on glass. Take that seat you can recline in with your back straight and change it to you being hunched over your phone. People were upset over this for these reasons, and many more, but apparently we all got it wrong. The real reason behind this backlash is, wait for it, Toxic masculinity, yes. The social justice narrative of idiocy strikes again. This new Diablo game is not hated for all the reasons I listed, despite the fact that every comment section you can find is filled to the brim with comments relating to what I talked about. No, it has actually everything to do with toxic masculinity and patriarchal traditions and chauvinism and a general lack of respect for women and a lack of respect for what women like. It has nothing to do with Diablo players expressing what they wanted to see for years and not once saying they'd like to see a mobile game. Yet Blizzard comes out with a mobile game anyway, something that no one has ever asked for or even hinted at wanting. That's not why people are upset. People are apparently subconsciously upset because this is a platform that serves women. So alright, sorry, but this is just yet another example of how social justice narratives completely distort and destroy someone's ability to think critically and have a perspective that is in line with reality. I spent far too much time this weekend reading everything I possibly could about this new Diablo game, and not once did I see anyone ever mention anything having to do with gender preference or gender roles. Yet this guy, Will Powers, who is apparently kind of a big deal, he has quite a large Twitter following, Following, and he seems to be involved in the tech industry in, in some in some way this guy has the answer and that answer is that you are all women bashing chauvinists but honestly though this is great to see I, I love it all this says to me is that the social justice movement is completely starved and the level of insanity it, it needs to reach to receive any attention anymore is reaching epic epic proportions and it's becoming funnier and funnier if it wasn't so pitiful but that's all for now. Like and subscribe and all that stuff. So long, my friends.